Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's World. Dino Bai is in Mumbai and guess what? This is the Tata Tiago EV launch, a massive, massive launch from the auto giant here in India who's creating waves in the EV segment. Tiago EV is here and how it's going to rule the segment. It's going to really revolutionize the way India is mobilizing and is, you know, traveling because EVs are here to stay and they are the future and uh, this space has been kind of dominated by Tata more than anyone else and they are taking the attack to the opposition by launching this Tiago EV which is one of their finest selling propositions now it's even more desirable because it comes in the EV form so everything that you need to know about the Tiago EV is what is coming up so without further ado let's get started Let's start with the design. As you look, the design silhouette remains the same. You have the projector headlamp, you have the DRLs, you have fog lamps, everything, everything kind of feature loaded, feature packed without leaving no stone unturned. When you look at the design influence, you can see the EV uh, kind of essence in the theme being imbibed into the front bumper. Uh, the overall fit and finish looks good. This is the tropical mist color looks very very breezy and pleasant and really really uh, you know beautiful then you have the blue accents underscoring the fact that this is uh, EV after all and then of course looking at the profile you have uh, again nice character lines flowing through the bodywork you can see the character line flowing through the bodywork the overall fit and finish build quality is top notch something that you come expecting from a Tata also let me give you the safety rating as well it's around four star safety rating for this car which is really really good given the kind of value it packs in again the premium factor has not been compromised in fact they have up the ante here power folding mirrors integrated turn indicators black contrast to the outside rear view mirrors and you can see the black contrast being transformed onto the roof as well so the blackened roof really really adds a more elegant look to this tropical mist color again the premium feel and the upmarket feel is seen here with the body colored uh, door handles and the chrome integrated into the bodywork and at, then at the back you can see uh, the integrated spoiler with these black accents piano black accents which again highlight the upmarket feel the tail lamp is neatly integrated one of the finest designs in the entry-level hatch segment continues to be the most desirable of the lot you can see the Tiago EV band branding in 3d at the back you have a rear view camera and you have rear parking sensors as well and the tata logo shining proudly than ever and you have an electric tailgate function as well you just need to press the button here and it's easier to open here you can see rear parcel tray which is removable 250 liters of boot space and one thing you need to note here is that uh, we don't get the spare wheel here instead the battery pack has been embedded in here so you have to sacrifice the spare wheel space but instead you get a tire puncher kit which kind of acts as a savior once the tires run flat so having seen the exterior design let's move in and check out how cool are the interiors okay moving inside here we have the beach color seats leather upholstery the uh, ev branding or the kind of logo being imbibed into the seats the fit and finish the stitches the uh, build quality and everything looks very very upmarket the interior has a very nice uh, classy feel to it you have the black and beige uh, dash right over here the steering wheel is a flat bottom steering wheel again giving you a sporty feel as well as a classy upmarket feel steering uh, phone controls and uh, you know audio controls for the uh, 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 which are steering mounted and then of course you have uh, cruise control which has been included here as well the tiago ev as you can see, it lights up beautifully, full digital cluster. It has the battery uh, capacity and the, I mean the battery charge and the range being clearly displayed here. So this is the standard uh, mode. Then you have city mode and uh, sport mode. This is the D is the city mode. And then 
you have the sport mode you can see 87 percent charge you have 163 kilometers range in the sport mode and uh, in the drive mode it shows 172 kilometers range in the sport mode it does not 260 in just 5.7 seconds with 115 newton meters of torque which is really really good also the region braking if you can see you have four different levels of region braking uh, which uh, you can choose as per your driving style or driving preference so the region brake energy regeneration intrusion or intervention will be uh, different in four of the different modes uh, mode three is what they suggest to be ideal then you have the seven inch touchscreen infotainment uh, system from harman cardone four speakers four tweeters android auto apple carplay they've given it everything ira connected car features 45 connected car features apart from the you know car health and you have also tire pressure monitoring included in here automatic climate control is included then you have charging uh, socket right here type a charging socket uh, i mean charging port and a charging socket right over here and some storage space here the drive mode selector here and have you know handbrake and you have cup holders right over here also another charging socket right over here a cooled glove box can you believe it in this affordable hatch segment you have a cooled glove box so that is again phenomenal value the air convents are neatly laid out again you have these blue accents right over here highlighting the fact that this is an ev i'm so impressed by this cabin that i'm kind of missing a sunroof that's the kind of standard these guys set when they are building their hatches this is no telescopic but it is tilt steering which can be adjusted as per your preference now talking about uh, the different types of battery packs and the charging options let's talk about that right up now now coming to the most important point which is the battery packs the charging time and the kind of charging flexibility that you can enjoy with the tiago ev first of all you have a 19.2 kilowatt hour battery pack and then you also have a 24 kilowatt hour battery pack now tata is primarily focusing on the 24 kilowatt hour battery pack where you have maximum value assigned to it the best uh, value proposition everything comes perfectly together despite the range when you beat the range or the speed or the comfort or the features everything comes perfectly packed in the 24 kilowatt hour uh, you know package the 19.2 kilowatt hour uh, pack also has decent amount of range it comes with a range claim of 250 kilometers whereas the 24 kilowatt hour battery pack comes with a range claim of 315 kilometers now come coming to the charging options so first you have the regular standard 15 amp uh, socket charging option where you can charge the car fully within a span of nearly nine hours and then of course you have the uh, 3.3 kilowatt uh, battery charger which ac charger with which you can charge the car within the span of 6.5 hours and then you also have the 7.2 kilowatt ac fast charger with which you can charge the car within a span of 3.5 hours i mean fully charge the car and then finally you have the dc charging option the dc fast charger can charge this completely within a span of 57 minutes or maybe less than 60 minutes you can say less than one hour so these are the kind of charging options it has on offer as i told you even the acceleration is really good torque is 115 newton meters so not to 60 comes up in just 5.7 seconds the acceleration is going to zip across the streets with the ziptron technology and then moving in talking about the space available at the back again when you sit inside you have adequate amount of first of all good cushiony feel to the seats that is something i look forward to comfort is prioritized good under, under thigh support decent amount of uh, headroom good amount of leg room with the seat set to my uh, height and uh, yeah for a family of four it is perfectly ideal to literally enjoy comfort in this cabin well spaced out well utilized cabin be it the air vents or the cooling efficacy or the features or the sounding there and uh, good airy cabin it's not too claustrophobic so nice nice glass area so overall fit and finish and everything comes together in perfect harmony you can say so this kind of concludes the overview of the tata tiago ev which is actually here to change the game the price starts from 8.49 lakhs and goes up to uh, you know beyond uh, uh, 11 lakhs for the top spec variant but the variant of choice which they want to highlight is the 9.99 lakhs 24 kilowatt hour variant where you have maximum value assigned 
for everyone there's something in it for everyone be it the initial pickup be it the performance be it the range be it the maintenance yeah talking about the maintenance you the battery pack is ip67 rated and it comes with eight years 160000 kilometer warranty 8 years 160000 kilometer warranty for the battery pack as well as the uh, motor and then of course you have the standard vehicle warranty which is 3 years or 125000 kilometers so this kind of concludes my review of the or initial impression walk around preview of the tiago ev which is going to revolutionize the way people transport here in india because see people are paying close to 180000 for an ather scooter so might as well you know give that as a down payment and pick up this ev which is compact tailor made for city commutes and offers supreme value where all of the entire family can travel together and enjoy the ev revolution so that's pretty much it i'll catch you guys in the next video i just hope you enjoyed watching this so until next time this is dino saying ciao take care god bless and drive safe